Tom Brady may have won his seventh ring, but Bill Belichick is going for number eight, and he's willing to break out the checkbook to do it. Bill Belichick and the New England Patriots went full New York Yankee throughout the first couple days of free agency as they made it a point to acquire every free agent that had a pulse. Kendrick Bourne, John U. Smith, Hunter Henry, Matthew Judon, all New England Patriots. And I got to say, I'm all for it. It's exciting. But it does raise one question. Are the New England Patriots a playoff team again? When you look in their own division, obviously the Buffalo Bills are their main competitor. And I still think the Bills are better than them at this time. I think when you compare Josh Allen to Cam Newton, even though I compared these guys quite similarly because I think Josh Allen does take a lot of plays out of the Cam Newton playbook. At this point, it's clear that Josh Allen is the better quarterback amongst the two. But you have to think that Cam is gonna have some positive regression when it comes to his touchdowns. Obviously, I expect him to throw more than eight touchdowns this year. And if he doesn't, I still kind of expect the Patriots to use that top 15 draft pick in order to select one of these higher tier quarterbacks, whether that be Mac Jones or Trey Lance. Now he's got weapons. There's no excuses anymore. Hunter Henry, Johnny Smith, Josh McDaniels is gonna have a lot of fun with those two. I don't think that this is gonna be the next Gronk and Aaron Hernandez because I know that's gonna be the popular comparison between these two, but they are the two most athletically gifted tight ends and rightfully deserve the payday they got. Um, when you look at the outside weapons they acquired, Nelson Aguilar and Kendrick Bourne, now, as a Niners fan, I can test. Kendrick Bourne is a solid receiver, not a great wide receiver. Wide receiver three does have a case of the drops. Obviously, we know Nelson Aguilar has a case of the drops from time to time, which isn't the most ideal when you do have a quarterback that does struggle with accuracy like Cam does. But again, this new look offense couldn't be worse than last year. When you're talking about Demarius Spurd and Jacoby Myers, I injured Julian Edelman. They obviously improved and I am excited for Cam Newton. I think this is gonna be huge for him or for the rookie quarterback that comes in to replace Cam Newton. Uh, also in that same division, when we talk about the Patriots as a playoff team, I still think that even though with Cam struggles, I think he's a better quarterback at this point than Tua. And when you look at the Jets, they're probably gonna have a rookie themselves, whether that be Zach Wilson or Justin Fields, or even if they decide to roll it back with Sam Darnold, which I highly doubt. I think the best option for the Patriots to make it is gonna be as a wildcard team. And when I look at their options there, I think Tennessee might slide back a little bit. Obviously they lost Corey Davis. They lost some pieces on the offensive line. They're gonna take a step back, but the Colts, with Carson Wentz is going to be a little bit of a new look offense because at bare minimum, you could say with Philip Rivers, the guy kept them competitive. I think the best opportunity for the Patriots to make it back in the playoffs and jumping from seven to nine, we'd consider we had three 11 and five teams make it as wild cards last year. It's going to be tough, but I think their best opportunity is going to be out of the AFC North, seeing one of those teams. I don't expect the AFC North to send three teams to the playoffs again, whether that be the Browns, Ravens, or Steelers. I think the most obvious choice amongst a lot of people is going to be the Steelers to slide back. But I'm never going to count out Mike Tomlin. The guy has finished under 500 in his career for a reason. If anything, I'm going to be questioning Baker Mayfield and a year in which he's fighting for his contract extension. That's going to be one that I'm going to pinpoint as the Patriots opportunity to get back in that playoff mix. But let me know what you guys think. Do you think that the Patriots are a playoff team? I want to know in the comments below. Leave a like on this video and of course, subscribe to our channel. Check out our sponsors, bluechew.com. Come on guys, let's get those awkward trips to the doctor's office. Let's increase that confidence in the bedroom and let's save some money with promo code slump. Yes, don't be a chump. Use promo code slump and save a whole lot of money. In fact, get your first month free. Yes, I said free, only pay for shipping. Bluechew.com promo code slump. Anyway guys, you stay safe, happy, and healthy, and we'll see you on the next one.